Today, as we speak, from the PIAC report, in less than three months, and I mean just one quarter, government has received over 8 billion CDs from our petroleum resources. So in three months, government has received more than it projected for the whole year. So government is making super normal profit. In fact, even the price stabilization and recovery levy, which is supposed to subsidize fuel, government projected that in the first two quarters, it will receive 269 million. As we speak, from the Ministry of Finance's own record, government has received about 800 million. And so this notion that government is not making revenue is a fallacy. It's a complete falsehood. Government is making so much money from our petroleum resources. I therefore call on President Akufuado and the outgoing Minister of Finance that they should do something about this price increment. They should sit up and think outside the box and apply these huge supernormal profits to cushion the ordinary Ghanaian. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel very sad as a member of parliament when on a daily basis... Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, bring it in from Kaswa. Where is it going to get? We are saying that the government can apply these supernormal profits to cushion the ordinary consumer. That's what we are saying. And we've demonstrated to you the government has gotten more than it required even in the first quarter. We've demonstrated to you that the price stabilization levy, instead of the 260 million, they've gotten about 800 million. We are also adding to the call of President Mahama that the Tema oil refinery, as a matter of urgency with immediate effect, should process Ghana's domestic crude. That can give us about 45,000 barrels of processed crude every day. That will put a less of a burden on the need for forex. This is not rocket science. This is something we attempted doing by giving Tema Oil Refinery two million barrels of oil from the 10 fields under President Mahama. This government took over and sold that barrels of oil. And so something can be done. The president says he's going to look for cheaper oil. From where? from a pump. And he did not even give us timelines. <laughs> These wishful thinking would not solve the problem. The only thing that will solve it is a practical... That be it, so be it. In these difficult moments, if it means that government has to use part of our petroleum resources to subsidize fuel, let them do that. Moreover, there's a price stabilization and recovery levy. It is there to subsidize fuel. Exactly. It has accumulated a lot of money, and they should apply that money. It's meaningless. The suspension of the application of the subsidy on residual fuel does not affect petroleum prices in any way. If you want to reduce petroleum price, it's the price stabilization. If you say that you won't apply it to a certain category by another category, it doesn't affect petroleum prices at all, at all. They've abandoned it. They've abandoned it. They've abandoned it, and that's why we are suffering. We are not even talking of taking off taxes. We are saying that the money that you have made, apply that money. It's as simple as that. There's money sitting there. We've made super normal profit. Let's use part of that money to cushion the ordinary Ghanaian. This is a legitimate call. We're talking cities.